there's not one member of the Biden administration on this panel. And all of you are great Americans. Thank you for giving your opinions and your counsel to the committee. But I find it stunning that not one member of the administration would come before this committee to talk about closing Gitmo. Yes, sir, but what we're talking what did about- they, No, but, no, what we but, are talking about here is that these people have been determined by a process consistent with the Supreme Court determination, and everybody was found to be a part of the enemy force. Is that true or not, General Baker? But what we're talking about today, sir- That's, is, my question no, is simple. Talking, are the people at Gitmo, had they gone through a process and been determined to be part of the enemy force? Not a process that is fair, no, sir. Well, that's your opinion. Yes, sir, it is. That, that's an opinion. You're the defense guy, and I admire the hell out of you. You can hold somebody until they die as an enemy combatant if it's unsafe to release them if the war is not over. Does anybody doubt we have the ability today to kill somebody who's part of Al-Qaeda if they're up to no good? Can we kill them? Mr. Simpson, can we kill them? We can use deadly force uh, under the 2000. We did it last week. Yeah. Well, is it, what absurd conclusion would there be that you can kill somebody, but you can't capture them? And once you capture them, you have to let them go if you don't have the evidence necessary to prosecute them in a criminal venue. The reason we've never done war that way because it's stupid. We're not fighting a crime, we're fighting a war. Let me set the stage as I see it. 20 years after 9-11, the Taliban are back in charge. Does everybody agree with that on the panel of Afghanistan? The Taliban now are in charge of Afghanistan. Everybody agrees. Five of the people in the Taliban government are former Gitmo detainees. The minister, uh, Deputy Minister of Defense, the Acting Minister of Borders and Tribal Affairs, the Acting Intelligence Director, the Acting Minister of Information and Culture, the new governor of the southeastern province of Host, are all former Gitmo detainees, and we're talking about releasing people. 229 of the 729 people released from Gitmo have gone back to the fight. And we're talking about releasing people. This is nuts. One thing I can say about the 39 that are at Gitmo, not one of them has attacked the United States. And if I have my way, none of them ever will. Bringing them to justice, I understand that very, very much. But here's what I have been fighting for 20 years now almost. I don't want anybody to be tortured by American military personnel or government officials or contractors because that makes the war harder to win. That's why, along with Senator McCain, myself and many of my colleagues, we fought hard to hold those accountable who lost their way. But having said that, I've never accepted the false choice of try them or release them. We're at war, General Baker. We're not fighting a crime. Do you agree with that? This is not a criminal enterprise. This is a war, and we're applying the law of war. Is that correct? Sir, what I've... Uh, you know, my, my sphere of influence is overseeing the military defense function. Yes. Policy decisions are decisions by... Well, let by, me just ask others. you this. But, as, as a military lawyer, does the United States have the ability to hold a member of the enemy forces as an enemy combatant under the laws of war? In certain circumstances, yes, sir. But, uh, but, but that's not what we're talking about here today. Everybody at Gitmo went through a combat status review tribunal hearing. Is that correct? Yes, sir, but what we're talking what did about... They, no, but, no, what we but, are talking about here is that these people have been determined by a process consistent with the Supreme Court determination that they are, in fact, part of the enemy force. There was a hearing held for all 39 combat status review tribunal under the law of war required by the Supreme Court, and everybody was found to be a part of the enemy force. Is that true or not, General Baker? But what we're talking about today, sir... That's, is, my question no, is simple. Talking, Are the people at Gitmo, had they gone through a process and been determined to be part of the enemy force? Not a process that is fair, no, sir. Well, that's your opinion. Yes, sir, it is. That, that's an opinion. You're the defense guy, and I admire the hell out of you. This is a hard job. You're doing the, the government of uh, the American people a great service by being willing to defend these folks. You're doing a fine job. But we're here as policymakers to make a decision on what we should do. I think it's absurd to criminalize a war. You can hold somebody until they die as an enemy combatant if it's unsafe to release them if the war is not over. Does anybody doubt we have the ability today to kill somebody who's part of Al-Qaeda if they're up to no good? Can we kill them? Mr. Simpson, can we kill them? 
we can use deadly force uh, under the 2000. We did it last week. Yep. Well, is it what absurd conclusion would there be that you can kill somebody, but you can't capture them? And once you capture them, you have to let them go if you don't have the evidence necessary to prosecute them in a criminal venue. No war has ever been conducted that way for a reason. The reason we've never done war that way because it's stupid. We're not fighting a crime. We're fighting a war. I don't want to torture anybody. I want to give them due process consistent with being at war. And if necessary, I want to hold them as long as it takes to keep us safe or we believe that they're no longer a threat. To the 39 at Gitmo, I believe all of them are a threat. If we can try them, great. If we can't, let's hold them. This idea of closing Gitmo, I embraced it with President Obama. Here's the problem. I couldn't get the administration to agree that if you moved them back to the United States, indefinite detention would still be available. I don't care where you house them. You can house them in Illinois. As long as you don't let them go, if the circumstances under the lower war prevent them from being let go, we can never cross that bridge. There's not one member of the Biden administration on this panel, and all of you are great Americans. Thank you for giving your opinions and your counsel to the committee, but I find it stunning that not one member of the administration would come before this committee to talk about closing Gitmo.